Hello learners. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain case statement in the PLSQL using uh, uh, Oracle 19C database server. So uh, first of all, we will see what is case statement. So uh, you can see uh, like the if statement, the case statement selects one sequence of statements to execute. There can be multiple uh, execution lines in the case statement and once uh, uh, statement will execute. However, to select a sequence, the curse case statement uses a selector rather than multiple Boolean expressions. The third point is a selector is an uh, expression, the value of which is used to select one of the several alternatives. So those are the key uh, areas of the uh, case statement. I think uh, already you have used that case statement in other programming languages such as Java, .NET, PHP. Same structure but keyword is a little bit different. Anyway, now uh, we will see the uh, syntax and the, uh, the structure of the case statement. So you can see a uh, case, there's a selector, then there are multiple uh, when clauses. So when clauses, then what happened? There is a conditions value one, then we'll execute this one. If the value, uh, if the uh, selector equal to value two, then it will execute S2. Likewise, uh, if this uh, values one is not matched with that selector definitely uh, it will go to the default case so i think uh, if you are familiar with other programming languages same thing we can execute and uh, additionally we have uh, closed this case statement using n case so that is the basic syntax of the case statement uh, in the right hand side you can see i have uh, included the diagram for that that's a start then we will check the uh, expression if uh, that expression is uh, uh, valid with this statement then it will execute code block one if condition expression is equal with when, uh, this when two then uh, then it, it will execute code block two likewise if this when one uh, one two or three is not satisfied with this expression at the end it will execute that default uh, code block in sections and in the uh, PLSQL block. So that is the basic uh, uh, syntax of the case statement. I think you have clear understanding about that. Now we will see how to uh, implement that uh, uh, how to implement that case statement in the uh, SQL developer. So uh, for that I have used that Oracle uh, SQL developer. So I will connect to my uh, Oracle database. So uh, if you want to get these uh, connection details, you can go to the properties and you can get that information. So if you have any issues with that, you can uh, refer my hello world uh, tutorial from that. I have explained each and every points. Anyway, I have already connect to that uh, database. So I cancel this window and I will take my sample program from the, the uh, notepad, which I have uh, used earlier. So uh, let me copy that uh, code into my uh, SQL developer. So uh, I will paste this one and uh, explain one by one. Okay, now uh, you can see uh, in the declaration section, I have a declare a variable called uh, grade. The data type is char1 and assign the character uh, A, capital A. So that is the uh, variable we have declared in the declaration section so uh, in the execution command section start with the begin and you can see i have defined the case statement so in the case statement you can see i have defined the variable the selector called grade then you can see in the first when statement if uh, when equal to a then it will print this line dbms output dot put line excellent so uh, if this is false what happen uh, it will go to the this one the second line then what happen uh, then uh, check the b value with the selector so uh, it will print this one according to this command what happen the value is grade is a then uh, it will check with this uh, condition then it is true then it will print this statement then at the end uh, you can see uh, other statements are not valid so it will exit from the end case and you will get the output like this 
so to get that output i will execute that plsql block uh, first we have to select this plsql block and click on the execute button again you can see i get the script output as plsql procedure successfully completed but i haven't connect to my dbms output into my for my connection uh, to connect to my uh, connections click on this plus sign and click on the ok so if you haven't opened this dbms output you can go to the view and select this dbms output then it will appear this window anyway now uh, now uh, now i will execute this command again now you can see according to this what happened uh, this line is execute let's say if i change this grade into let's say capital c what happened definitely it should be display this one anyway we will execute and see the output you can see well done likewise it will trigger this when statement let's say if i change my uh, grade into z which is not available in my case statement then what what will happen uh, it will uh, execute uh, this line so easily you can understand uh, this one very easy because this uh, z is not valid uh, matching with this when statement or this 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 or even it's not it is not matching with the default statement in uh, sorry not the uh, last statement but uh, uh, there's a default statement so uh, because of uh, value is not matching with these uh, all values it will trigger this uh, plsql block anyway now uh, i will clear all the script output and the dbms output to clear these uh, script outputs you can see there is a clear button click on this and uh, in the dbms output window also you have a clear uh, click on this if not you can click on the uh, you can use the shortcut key as control plus d so i cleared then again i will execute my plsql block click on this you can see plsql procedure successfully completed but you can see my output as i explained earlier no such grade because we have assigned z and it is not uh, matching with any uh, when statement uh, when statement in the case state so uh, it will print this one so i think you have clear understanding about the case statement in the plsql block if you have any issues you can uh, comment in the comment sections and uh, thank you